Hi guys, welcome to Coda Design Lab. This is our 10th video for patient record application. And in this video, we will perform the pagination on our project. So this is the this is the list page. Here we have you have created uh, we have created this list page. Now we will perform this perform pagination in this page. So let's go to the bootstrap.com and we will copy the pagination style from this website. Okay. So what we will do here, we will search pagination pagination and then we will copy the or copy this kind of style from here so we'll copy this and paste in our home template after the table and we will comment it pagination okay now django provides us a facility to a facility to create the pagination so we will go to the views.py file and here we will from django.core.paginator and we will import the paginator okay now after the if condition we will perform paginator equal to and this paginator will accept our data that we are getting from our search or we are getting from our simple query now we will pass limit so this limit tell us that what uh, how many data i want to show on the default page so i want to show only one data on pagination okay so now let's uh, let's uh, now the next thing we will we will get the page number from the url so from the request we will get the page number so this will be page if if not if if, if user not click on the page number if url is in in url page is not passed then we will default it will pass one okay so page number value has default one now what we will do here we will create a data so that it can override this data and now we will pass the paginator and in this we will get page and we will pass the page number okay now let's go to the home template and refresh this so here you can see we have a pagination and it is showing only one data okay now we will work on this links so let's go to the home.html page and in this we will first of all we will disable this i will disable this and now i will add the if if data dot because data has our all data okay so if data has previous then we will show the previous link so and if so refresh this so we don't have any previous because we are on first we are on uh, first result okay so similarly we will do this for our next thing next link sorry so next link okay so if if has next then we will show the next uh, we need to change this so this will be next so next is showing because we have a next result now we will change the link okay so here what we will do here we will pass page equal to data dot previous page number and now we will pass this as a next page number now now click on this next so it will show the next result so it is showing the next result and previous is also active because we have a previous result also so when we click on the previous it will show the previous result now we will work on this numbering so so here we have a two type of numbering one is active and another is simple link so now let's uh, go to the we will do the for loop so for i in data dot paginator dot page range okay if you are not understanding anything then please comment in the comment section and if you have not subscribed this channel then please subscribe and if you are enjoying this video then please like this video okay so now we have a page range so now what we will do here we will add another if if data dot number equal equal to y it means if the number is if the page number is equal equal to y then we will show the active result else we will show the number 
okay so we will this active thing in the if condition and this link will be in the else condition okay <clears throat> this thing. and now we need to pass here i so we will pass the i here and also here and in this we will pass question mark page equal to i and we don't need to pass the link in this active link okay so now let's go to the and refresh the home page so it is saying that invalid block and if so what why it is saying and if because we need to add and for refresh this page okay so now we have a two results so that it is uh, creating two and a previous so it is working now okay so in this video i just want to show you how we can uh, implement the pagination in django and django have a beautiful documentation about this pagination so you can refer that documentation so thanks for watching this video if uh, 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 i will appreciate if you subscribe to this channel and uh, like this video uh, thank you thank you so much